All right, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chief Brown, and I will be your instructor for today's demonstration speech on PRT. First, I would like to start out by telling you guys a story about a girl named Samantha from Long Island. She's four years old and knows what she likes and dislikes. She enjoys spending time with her family, completing complicated puzzles, using FaceTime to communicate with her younger sister, and listening to her favorite music, which happens to be Miley Cyrus. She also likes food. But who doesn't? We all like food. Well, weighing in at 54 pounds, she is the heaviest and biggest girl in her pre-kindergarten class. Heaviest and biggest in her pre-kindergarten class. Her body mass index is above the 97th percentile, two percentage points lower than what is considered morbidly obese. According to the National Institute of Health, 64% of all women and 74% of all men are either overweight or obese. Being obese or overweight, depending on which terminology you want to use, increases your probability of developing high blood pressure, <coughs> cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. By participating in a regular exercise routine, you can help alleviate, alleviate these health-related issues and improve your overall quality of life. Exercise improves cardiovascular endurance, bone health, and improves your overall quality of life. Oh. 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 In the Army, we have such a program. It's called PRT, or Physical Readiness Training, for the personnel that's watching this video that don't know what PRT stands for. All right. And rather than sit up here and go through all the steps within PRT, we're going to concentrate on the preparation drills. Only three of them. Like, once again, because of time stress. So without further ado, I'd like my demonstrator to come forward. We'll be going over in detail the bend and reach, the rear lunge, and the forward lunge. The bend and reach. You assume the starting position. As such, fingertips extended and joined, palms facing inward, feet shoulder width apart. On count one, he will bend at the waist, squat with his knees, and reach behind him as far as possible. Notice the natural curvature in his back and that his neck and head are in line with his spine. On count two, he will go back to the starting position. On count three, he will repeat count two. And count four, he'll return to the starting position. And relax. That is the bend and reach. The next preparation drill we'll be going over is the rear lunge. So in the starting position, notice how his palms are inward and on his hips. His legs are shoulder width apart. This is called the straddle stance. On count one, he will take an exaggerated step backwards, making sure to stay on the ball of his foot. And his forefront leg, you want to bend that thigh and make it as parallel to the ground as possible. Now keeping in mind there's a lot of people that are injured in the military, so there's no direct way to be able to tell this soldier you need to go lower. It's all within his capabilities, his or her capabilities. On count two, he'll go, he'll go back to the starting position, shoulder width apart as far as the feet. He will alternate legs and assume. Notice how he stepped back on the ball of his foot, alternated legs. Hands are still on his hips. And on count four, he'll return back to the starting position. 
on the mass. Now that is the rear lunge. And the last preparation drill we'll be going over is the forward lunge. So the starting position. Once again, the starting position is the straddle stance. All right, on count one, he will take as you work. Notice how his feet are shoulder width apart. On count one, he will take a three to six inch step forward, keeping his legs the, the same distance between his legs as he were when he was in a straddle stance. He will bend as low as he possibly can. And on count two, he'll resume back to the starting position. On count three, he will complete the same exercise alternating legs. And on count four, we'll return back to the starting position. Relax. I'm gonna give my dude straight around the clock. So there you have it. All right, so remembering that to fight obesity or being overweight, we need to participate in a regular exercise routine. Not only do we need to participate in that routine, but we need to make sure that we're conducting it properly to make sure we get the most out of it. And what does this do? It improves our overall health. This concludes my class.